What's up, YouTube? It's me again. Ha <laughs> Yeah, I know you don't care. But anyway, um, so I just want to do this video here because I just finished, well, not well, just finished. Um, I finished the uh, Dragon Age 2 DLC, the uh, Mark of the Assassin. And just want to give my thoughts on this particular piece of, hold on, this particular piece of DLC that's come out this week. So, basically, yeah, I am, and I will not, I, I'm a Dragon Age fan, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I, oh, I'm so obsessed. I mean, yeah, I played the, the first one to death, and this one, I beat. So, I just want to give a quick, uh, quick thought overview, whatever, of the uh, DLC, which I, uh, which I actually, you know, pretty much enjoyed. Um, you know, a while back, I did the, uh, yeah, I played the, uh, the, which one was it? The, uh, I forgot the name of it. The last one that came out, last DLC with the, uh, the, the Crufius guy, whatever his name is, the, uh, what the hell's the name of that DLC? I don't remember right now. Um, well, I didn't do a video talking about that, but. Anyway, so. Legacy, that was it. Duh. So, anyway, yeah, so I did the, uh, the Mark of the Assassin one, which is basically is, a. Uh, voiced, when, you know, they made a big deal about the character Talus, who is voiced by Felicia Day, who's like some big important voice actor for Dragon Age or whatever, I don't know what's going on there. I think it has something to do with the fact that there's actually supposed to be a, a YouTube, or online, I don't know if it's YouTube, but online, uh, online uh, web series or whatever, starring this particular character, but just live action, live action or whatever. I think she's like the, the actor who portrays it. And uh, she does the voice of the character in here. So I don't know if that's up already or it's still in the works. I don't know. Um, if somebody knows, if one of the three viewers who watch this knows, uh, let me know. And I'll, I'll look into that. But basically, you know, it's a pretty good piece of, pretty good DLC, I think. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, you actually travel to, there's going to be some, I'm not going to, like, say the whole thing. So I don't, I don't want to put any spoilers in here, but... You know, you travel to Orle, basically. I think it's the first time in the Dragon Age series where we actually uh, do something in Orle. Where, you know, you're trying to do something. You meet the Talos character and she uh, she needs your help with something to get some kind of thing called the Heart of the Mania, some kind of jewel or whatever. So, you know, you uh, you go, you do this thing, you fight the new the new monster. They, I think two new monsters they uh, invent, they... Uh, Revealed for this, the Wyvern, which, you know, you've seen in other RPGs, but, you know, now it's got the, uh, the Dragon Age twist to it. And, uh, let's see, what else is it? Uh, you got the some other weird-looking things, I forgot what they're called, but, you know, you'll see when you, when you play it, if you play it. Whatever, so, yeah, basically, you, uh, go ahead and you do these things, and you're trying to find the heart of many, you go through many things. Um, they actually added stealth elements to this DLC, which I think, honestly, is, like, really out of place in the Dragon Age series. Please don't do this again. I mean, the Dragon Age, don't think this is a good idea. Uh, I don't know if anybody, I'm saying, if Dragon Age 3 comes out, don't do this. Make this a one-time thing. It seemed more reminiscent of, uh, like, the garden scene from Ocarina of Time than actual trying to be, like, stealthy Metal Gear Solid or, uh, or Splinter Cell kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm not playing Dragon Age for stealth at all, so uh, don't, please don't do that again. Bioware, EA, whoever's going to be in charge of these things. It was alright for that particular DLC, I guess, if you want to say that, but that's it. Don't add this into another, into the sequel or any other DLC that planning on coming later on. You know, so basically, uh, yeah, things like that. Um, very colorful, actually. I mean, you meet some of the Orlais characters and they're all, uh, they're like very flashy colors. I mean, all the stuff they talked about in the previous games, how they look, they pretty much tried to uh, capture that. And they look pretty good. I mean, a couple of new characters, a couple of guest appearances from other characters. I don't want to ruin it, but I saw one character. I was like, okay. And I saw another. I was like, oh, I was surprised they were there. So I was like, whoa, what the? <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty interesting. So that's my little overview of Dragon Age 2 DLC. I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't really played it yet. It's fun, it's different. You know, you can tell they're actually doing a lot to putting a lot into these DLCs. 
I'm not really a big fan of the DLCs altogether, but you know, at least this one you get a couple of like a couple of elements because we all know DLC is like the biggest scam of this game generation. I mean, let's face it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna say I'm kind of guilty because I went ahead and did some DLC for the Dragon Age series, and that's about it. Mm. I'm not going to keep going to rant about DLC and so on. It's not what this video is about. Maybe one day I'll go ahead and talk about that. I don't know. But anyway, like I said, Dragon Age 2 DLC, uh, Mark of the Assassin, pretty good. Has a really funny moment if you do it right. I mean, it's just <laughs> something that seemed out of character for Hawk, but it was funny. So yeah, anything like that. So you know, I don't know if you have, if you like, if you enjoyed Dragon Age 2, and you're able to get the DLC, go ahead. I think it's a bit pricey, I mean, $9.99, come on, I don't think the last one was that much, was it? Well, who knows. So, yeah, Dragon Age 2 for PC, Xbox, or PS3, whichever one we have. If you like the DLC, if you like DLC, go ahead and get it. If you don't like DLC, well, obviously you're not going to get it, but, uh, alright. See you later, YouTube.